Caroline, fine. Nail gun, fully loaded. This dude, gonna die. Come here. Where are you? Where are you at? Come on, camera. You're over there somewhere. Oh, you move fast. Ow. Uh. Please. Oh no. Are you dead? Oh my God, I got real messed up. Oh, mistakes were made. Uh, uh, medkit. Okay. Well, that's a great way to start. Um, turns out these guys, little on the tougher side. I thought maybe they would take less bullets on account of them having, you know, less of a body. Okay. Yeah, they take many more nails compared to the other ones. Oh, I see you back there. I saw you back there. Look at, you see him hanging? He's smiling. He's having a good time. Hey! Okay. With him taken out, what did I miss in here? Toothpaste and a toothbrush. Whatever. Is there nothing else in here? Hmm. Don't like that. Okay, so this hallway isn't actually a loop because there is a wall on one side. I need to get to the operating room, which I'm gonna guess I can get through through the anesthesia room. Disinfectant room, we got separate rooms for all of those? Seems highly inefficient. Is it dark in here? He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, what? Should have shot him when I had the chance. I kind of want to use the night swords to chop these things again. Go for the insta kill. I hadn't seen it since I did the whole elevator thing. Should I go do that? Okay. So not only have knife arms, they have knife puff fish defense. Maybe going all the way around this way would give me a chance to shoot him. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, at least I killed that one off screen. Yeah, man. Okay, so with him dead, I can now go... Where am I? Here we are. Towards the observation room. Please, no more enemies. <gasps> Wait, give me that. Give me that, baby. A pipe with an attached handle smells like sulfur. Sounds like... Another piece of a shotgun? A shotgun. Oh, 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 what is that? Oh. Priest. Are you? Oh, a man in a radioactive suit is walking around a body in circles. Father? What's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? And he's wearing a bucket forehead with googly eyes. 
What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child, this place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination, father. Don't gaslight me! Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. Question of the day, do you say shaman or shaman? I've always said shaman. That sounds terrifying. All right, good talk. All right, so here's my thought. Either this guy legitimately is messing with me or because we know of a mere universe. Caroline missing one eye, my guessing is her other eye is somewhere in that universe, which is allowing her to see both worlds at once slash interact with both of them. And there's some significance to that. More importantly, I have a shotgun to go deal with other dudes now. Hell yeah, girl, let's do this. That feels a little bit better because nail gun was not cutting it. What's this way? Oh, the operating room. This is the important plot area. Mistakes were made. Nope, 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 nope. Mistakes were made. <laughs> okay. There's some shotgun shells. Sick. Blood bag. Oh, there's a message on here. This is the blood of those chosen twins. I'm thank you some I'm glad someone literally spelled that out for me. Guess you couldn't tell by the blood. This is the blood of the twins. Yay! Dude, no, come on. No, you have all your feet still, and you're still, like, hooked up to stuff. This body appears to have been operated on multiple times. It doesn't even look human anymore. What is this? Who is doing this? Yeah, look, I'm just... I played horror games before. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come on, just put one nail right between the eyes. What is the significance of this room? Do I need to turn the power off for some reason somewhere? Yeah, it's still pretty dark in here. Oh, okay. This body is badly burned. was that? Was it just the music? A report about the Tismue tribe. Tismue, Tismue, Tismue legends abound of the magical blood that courses through the veins of the twins. What? Allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances. It is not surprising that the first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children. Unfortunately, they seldom survive 10 or 11 summers once chosen for sacrifice. However, the most striking tale is that of the nights when no moon was in the sky, the nights when the little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance, torch in hand, around the tribe's deceased while the remaining tribesmen extinguished their torches. With this ritual, the dead would walk the earth again, at least for one night. 
This guy trying to like use the twins' blood and all these rituals to bring his wife back. That's like almost always what it is, right? Don't see anything else in here. So then from here, this thing gets to the other side of that guy. I will shotgun you. Let's pop into the disinfectant room real fast. Oh, there's all kinds of pills and poker chips on the ground. Microscopes and various medical items. Neat. Medical items. Shotgun shells. Oh, another entry to his diary with a map? Maria is infected with a rare disease. My two girls are missing and my father has died. Upon my return from the business trip, I found the mansion surrounded by police. The officer in charge, without qualm, destroyed my entire world with his cold words. Afterward, they attacked me with annoying questions and did not let me see Maria until they were finished. She appears dead in life. Her skin, burnt by what seems to be radiation, is falling apart. Her phys physiognomy has changed quickly into something ominous. Her eyes do not show their pupils, and the only sounds that come from her mouth are feral screams. She was tied to a hospital bed hand and foot after attacking two of the nurses. One was left with severe injuries. She does not recognize anyone, not even me. The most potent sedatives we administer do nothing to calm her. I know not what they did to her, but I will not stop until I have found the cure, and those responsible for this evil act are punished. We also got like a map here? We searched the closest forests and coasts for more than six months, but have not found a thing, not even a tear of clothing. The authorities told me there's no point to keep on looking for them. It hurts to think that might be right. Maria remains in a mental state that I cannot describe. I have never seen anything like it before. This goes beyond any illness, and more closely resembles a demonic curse. I still hold on to the hope that Maria is somewhere inside that decaying being. Sometimes my doubts creep in, and I want to cut her throat to stop the suffering. But something inside me cannot let her go. I need to find the cure. Yeah, I'm telling you, your cure is going to be oh, morphine. Not morphine. <laughs> your cure is going to be like baby sacrifice or whatever. All right, come here, dick. I'm ready for you. I'm hoping this like hits you away. Mm! Are you dead? <laughs> yes. Oh. Glee. <laughs> All right. Um What all that do for me? Ultimately? Like, I didn't really find a, uh... I didn't really find, like, a key or anything that's progress. Stop showing me that map. Right? Do I need to turn the lights off and, like, do another sweep? Because I don't know why else that, uh... Why that light switch would be there. I didn't murder everyone, so that should help. <sighs> All right, I'll bite. Lights are off. Did anything change? Any any fun glow in the dark stuff or? Love the chosen twins. Hey. 
Well, he's still mostly lit up in here. Alright, continuing the sweep. I have no idea. Why would they keep a little, like power switch circuit breaker right there if it's not gonna do anything or change anything? We go back to the observation room where the father is. Stop doing that. Still super lit up in here. I don't know. A large part of me feels like I should keep that off. Maybe keeping it off somehow Oh, reroutes power to like the lower areas? That wouldn't make any sense, but. Nah. I went back to the elevator room. Door still works, even though I got the lights off. And you're still in there? Cool. Should I. Should I elevator back down? Man, I just feel like that might be a huge waste of time. Just low on ideas at the moment. Let's take a look. I do have the shotgun now. And, uh, it murders the shit out of everything. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> I'll forever be able to use the elevator. Okay. That wanted a disc. I think I need to like format a disc and then I can take it to the upstairs disc door. All right, I'll give this a shot. I know there's still an enemy around down here. Lights miraculously on somehow. Definitely not. How do I get lights on? Right in here. The shower room still doesn't open. Just, man, you sh can I not? Can I shoot this in the middle of the dark? The darkness embraces me. Come on, I know he's right there. Just, bah! it'd be so easy. You have two hands, ma'am. Okay, a little stumped by that. I should kill this thing. Just be like, dude. We're all done with you. Oops. Why is that missing? Ah! Oh, that's because he's dead. He stood up just to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Why you shut up? Maybe there's something I missed down there. Now that I finally killed this guy, so I don't need to be as spooked. No, I don't think so. I can't like... I can't shotgun this open. Still need like wire cutters or even just like a strong knife to open that up. This just brings me back to the main hall. Dang it. 
Okay. What about the east side? Was there anything on the east side that I couldn't like get to earlier? Not directly. Not without using like the weird ladder shortcuts. Nothing seems to be changed out here. There was a door to get on the other side of the reception desk, right? Yeah, like right there. From the archives. You have to get through whatever this puzzle door is. Hmm. Alright. Well, still don't trust the dang priest at all. I trust this I trust my two pipes screwed together shotgun more than I trust that priest because this thing does work. All right, we'll figure this out. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.